because they all hate me. I don't know why they all hate me, but they do. It's the only reason I can find that they won't have is because they hate me. You disappeared, huh? You've got to vote here since the last time. Yeah, I had to pull out all the stops to beat you. A tougher enemy and a nauseating Saiyan. I'd never allow something like you to stop my plan. Your reign is over, baby. Enough! I won't allow a single Saiyan to live! Alright, now it's time for our first fight using Super Saiyan 4 Goku against Super Baby 2. Now, Super Saiyan 4 Goku does not run on the same power level as regular Goku. He's a completely separate character for some odd reason. Be you know, because they couldn't fit a fourth transformation onto the controller, I guess. Because the Budokai Tenkaichi controls are a lot different from the original Budokai controls. Ooh. Mmm. <clears throat> man. But yeah, so you have to actually give Super Saiyan 4 go through all of his all all this stuff. So he can move on and stuff. Whatever. Oof. Yeah. Still haven't gotten a chance to watch uh, Lord of the Rings Two Towers yet. I did watch another movie though. I watched a uh, new Star Trek, uh, Star Trek Into Darkness. Now, I didn't grow up with Star Trek. I didn't grow up watching, you know, Spock or Kit or Captain Kirk or any of them. I just didn't, I didn't, you know, my dad has like one of the old movies, I can't remember which one it is, but uh, that's about it, I think he's more into Star Trek than I am, but, no. <laughs> I don't know, I thought it was an interesting movie, uh, I do watch a lot of, about the older Star Trek movies, and it seemed like Into Darkness was trying to recreate a lot of, like, really iconic moments from, uh, the old Star Trek. You know, like, with its main villain, you know, obviously there's going to be a lot of those moments, so they're also trying to recreate, you know, a really sad moment for a lot of Star Trek fans. Whatever. I thought it was an interesting movie. Um... I've heard a lot of Star Trek fans don't like it, but, you know, the Star Trek fan base is almost just like any other fan base. You can't please them all. You can't, like, if you remake anything, you're going to piss off every single fan of the original. Like, if you, you there's no way you can get away with, like, it's literally impossible. No, you know, the second you remake something, all the fans of the original will just automatically hate everything you do with it. I mean, 
even if like you were given a list of demands, like even if you got like the original cast back, you know, and everything, even if, you, even if they gave you a list of demands, the second you would put that out, you know, they would still hate you. Either that or call you a sellout for actually doing what they told you to do. So, you know, I heard that the writer of Into Darkness, one of the writers, uh, got really pissed that tre the Trekkies were, like, upset that the movie wasn't, like, what they wanted or something. It's like, you just remember, a lot of Star Trek fans are, like, 20 or 30-something-year-olds, fat as fuck, and living in their mother's basement. So don't get pissed off at them. Feel honored that you have a good paying job and that you have most likely moved out of your mother's house. Todd, is this the end? Goodbye, baby. Try me. Wait, Bubba! Ah! What? Don't think just because I've absorbed Vegeta and transformed into this hideous creature, I don't have my wits about me! <laughs> now you tell me. So this whole time you were just pretending to be a big dumb ape, huh? I thought it might be fun, but I wonder what sort of power this ape body really has! Guess we'll find out together! All right, now it's time for Super Saiyan 4 Goku against Great Ape Baby. Since Baby has absorbed the power of Vegeta, he also has absorbed the power to turn into a Great Ape. But and since Vegeta, you know, can't control the Great Ape, I'm pretty sure it's pretty easy for Baby to control the Great Ape. Hmm. Like I was saying, the end of the last fight. You know. Just be happy that you've moved out of your mom's basement. Be happy that you have a nice, hot, most likely well-paying job, and you know, hope you get by. And that the people that complain about your movie most likely won't have a better job than making a Big Mac. So yeah. Now, I mean, if you have a legitimate complaint against, like, you know, Star Trek Into Darkness or something like, you didn't like the acting, or you thought, you know, a certain character was miscast, or something like that, you know, I can buy that. But if you're just sitting there going, I didn't like how you did that. It's supposed to be this that happened, not what you did. Why'd you do that? In the original, this is what happened, not what you put up there. Why is Kirk like 20 years younger than he should be? Yeah. You just sound like a net you just sound like a brat. Whatever. <sighs> Whatever. It is a It 
I mean, there are some general issues with it, like, you know, there's too many lens flares, and there should be, uh, you know, there's a character that feels completely useless. Like, you know, she's just there to be... Just there to be a token to bargain over. She doesn't do anything else. And I guess you could argue that if she wasn't on the, sh you know, if she wasn't on the. Darn it! I'll never beat him at this rate. This is it! Take this, Saiyan! Yeah! What is that? <laughs> 